Hey everyone, this is Travis here from Maypower Design. A couple months ago, um, Preston over at Press Reset hooked me up with the guys over at Flex 3D. Flex 3D makes uh, build plates that are they're specifically designed to where your prints uh, has a surface to where it makes your prints stick to them really easily. But when your prints are done, you can actually flex the plate and pop them off without having any issues, without having to use a blade or a spatula to remove them. And they have two different styles that you can order in a, multiple different sizes for all the different printers that are out there now. Uh, one of the styles is just the plate itself, which you attach to your, uh, your normal build plate with uh, clips like this. Pretty simple, easy design. And then they also have what's called a system, which you attach this outer frame for the build plate. And you attach that with the clips, which makes it to where you can just lift the build plate in and out of that frame so you don't have to unclip it and clip it every time and it's it's a little bit easier these are a little bit more expensive but it definitely is a convenience thing that you don't want to have to deal with uh, clipping the the tray in and out all the time so i want to start with things that i really love about the flex 3d plate for instance when you're printing something that has a really small surface on the bottom like this design right here these tiny, tiny spots that stick to the build surface that normally would be really hard to get stuck down. The Flex 3D plate has no problem with that. The, the um, design just sticks to it super easy and it just pops right off. Another thing is something with a, a larger build surface like this uh, Yoda Buddha right here. Check that one out. This surface is a little bit larger and it, it sticks right down to the Flex uh, build surface and then it removes really, really easily. Just, you know, again, just pop it off. You don't have any issues with adhesive, glue, hairspray, any of that stuff sticking to the bottom of your print. Your print surface is just clean and nice. It's, it's really, really makes for a good printing surface. It's flat, clean, everything. Another thing I really enjoy about the, uh, the surface is that because your prints will just stick to this without you having to worry about adhesives or you don't even have to worry about heat actually. You can turn, um, and even in the instructions it says uh, to, you don't even have to have a heated build plate. You just, you can turn off, if you have a heated build plate, just turn it off. Um, if you don't have one, this is an amazing thing for that too, because you know, you don't need any heat to actually stick your print to the surface of this. I did have a couple of issues with the, the build plates in the beginning. This is why it's actually taken me a while to get the, this review out. If you don't have your build surface completely level and if you actually do use too much heat, you can run into an issue like this where the, the um, print will get so stuck that it's almost impossible to remove. And this right here is the only issue I had with the build plate itself. I don't think my printer was leveled um, right for this one and I must have just had the heat too high. So the, the print had actually dug into the build plate and this print is just, I don't, know, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this off, but having said that, the surface overall is pretty awesome. If you want something that's, that's gonna give you clean prints that, that are easy to remove, this is definitely an awesome, awesome product. I would highly, highly recommend it if you're looking for something, especially with uh, people that don't have heated build platforms that are having trouble getting things to stick. This is an amazing product for that. I did do one final test and you know, with me doing logos, I had to do this. I made this little flex 3D flat surface. I was kind of doing a, I was kind of doing a stress test to see how, cause you know, a print like this would normally be a nightmare to get off uh, build plate especially if you're using like glass with a glue stick you'd have to get under this and completely you know pry under it with a with a knife or a um, spatula or something and it, it would just be really really hard to get off of the surface not with the flex 3d build plate though I, I just pulled it out of my printer snapped it off and this is the result complete flat 
awesome um, back with um, no no adhesive on the back just nice clean print came off the build plate make sure if you get one uh, get your tray leveled as, as best as you can and don't use uh, too much heat on this um, other than that like I said amazing amazing stuff um, I plan on using these in, in the future for many many prints I'm sure that especially stuff that it's going to be a pain to get off the plate that I know that I'll have issues with I'm going to go ahead and end on the the creation and the the time lapse of printing this uh, flex 3d logo right here um, as always thanks for watching uh, hit the like button if you want to see more reviews like this and more more videos in general like this i really appreciate you guys watching thanks a lot This right here has to be my favorite part about Flex 3D build plates. Um, normally, I mean, you would pull this off uh, a glass build tray and you would have to get, you know, a razor blade or a spatula and like get under this, this, you know, a print this large and flat. You'd have to get under that and <laughs> practically pry it off. And, you know, I've hurt myself plenty of times doing that. I know plenty of other people that have hurt themselves also. This right here pretty much solves that problem. I mean, it's just like this. Off, that easy. Not, nothing left on the build plate. Smooth back, no, no glue, no um, nasty surface, just a clean, easy to remove print, so.